what's going on guys it's your boy adoptionism here and today uh, I'm proud that we are bringing back and I know I fucked up on last week that was my bad uh, I was actually working pretty fucking late that day so I mean yeah anyway might as well hop on it now this is gonna be Zer week number two and where is Zer today he is on my lovely favorite place to farm Titan so you guys can see right here he's on the map now, what we're going to do here is, um, for, uh, for those of you who are new to Destiny and what I like to do for Where's Zer, um, we're just going to go over the items that he's selling and what I, what I think that they benefit from and whether or not you should get them. Now, if you're brand new to Destiny, or maybe if you're a collector like myself, uh, you want to make sure that you get all the exotics. So... Uh, yeah, we'll see what he's got, and then I'm gonna go ahead and buy some, maybe, yeah. Um, I hope that they bring back, um, not legacy engrams, but, like, I hope they bring in some kind of engrams or something that he does. So you guys can see, there's somebody already over there by there, just to show you. Yeah, see, if you pop up your ghost, you look around, and you'll see a symbol. So we're gonna go over here, because that's what... We like to do. We like to run and run and run. Running, running, and running, running, and... Sorry, I just woke up, guys. Uh, lo, 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 lo. There it is. Whoop. What's up, you tentacle-faced motherfucker? Oh, my God. It is so nice to see you, sir. Oh, it's been so long. Hi. All right, let's see what he's got. Hell yes. Oh my god, I have been wanting this thing since before launch, and I'm so glad he's selling this. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, uh, I think this thing had another name in the beta or in the trailers or whatever. Uh, it's not, I, I, I can't remember what the fuck, I think it was like dubious something or something, dubious, fuck, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a rocket launcher that shoots a shit ton of rockets at once. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say... Uh, they try to compare it to Galahorn because you guys know that when Galahorn blew up, it like had uh, a whole bunch of other little mini missiles. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna buy that. And then Foe Tracer. Well, okay, really quick. <laughs> Sorry. So it has Arc Elemental first off, which is cool. Um, I mean, yeah, it's cool. Um, so okay, like I said, it fires a volley of rockets, and you know what? Just just for shits and giggles. I'm going to show you guys right now what the fuck that looks like. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. And, oh, goody. I have zero heavy ammo. Well, this is about to turn into a shitty situation. Well, come back in a bit, and I'll, I'll show you guys here in a sec. Anyway, back on topic here. It shoots a volley of rockets. Like, it's crazy. I've heard people say that it could be good for bosses. Uh, it's definitely... I would I would say with how much it shoots, it should be really good for the nightfall whenever uh, it cycles and hits arc. Uh, now, in terms of if the AoE is too spread out, then I understand why you might not want to get it. But if it's not spread out too much, then, yeah, it's fucking epic. Uh, now onto the hunter item. We have foe tracer, which to me this kind of makes me think of uh, uh, some kind of Star Wars sand people fucking helmet. Anyway, foe tracer visually marks targeted enemies, deals more damage to low health marked enemies. Uh, now in a lot of games, uh, I mean I, I don't have this, so I mean I'm buying it. Uh, in a lot of games, though, low health usually means I feel like below half is kind of my, I, I I would say probably aim for. 20 to 25 percent usually like a quarter health left that's when you're going to start noticing like a damage increase now whether or not that damage increase is flat or whether it uh it scales or it goes up or goes down based off of the percentage left uh but i mean that that's still it could be pretty awesome uh it's nice that you know uh for people who like uh let's see like knucklehead radar like that was that was my like absolute favorite helmet aside from celestial nighthawk because Nothing is better than Celestial Nighthawk, which I don't have. So fuck you guys if you have it. I'm kidding. I love you. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get this. 
honestly, like I said, if you're a collector, by all means, get all of these. Uh, now, one thing that I, I am going to say, and those of you who are from Destiny 1 already know what I'm about to say. This and this is recycled bullshit. Uh, we had feedback fans back in Destiny 1. Uh, it pretty much does the same exact thing that it did in Destiny 1, where if you got, if your Titan, like, got hit a bunch of times by, like, say, a bunch of thralls or dregs or something, uh, after a couple of hits, it, it, there's, like, an explosion around you to get, like, pretty much to knock back all those things off you. Uh, now, I never really cared to use these, uh, but in this game, I use them because it's the only exotic that I had on my, that I have on my Titan. But these are 270, so I might take these. Uh, and then... We have Sun Bracers. Sun Bracers in Destiny 1 were just absolutely monstrous. Like, they were, they were really, really good when it came to using uh, solar grenades. And just because, uh, I think, in, I, don't, I don't remember if it was too different in the other one, but I remember the increasing duration is one thing, and then it says, and grants grenade energy on solar melee hits. Uh, so I guess, in theory... Uh, maybe if you have another piece of gear or a mod that does, uh, you might actually be able to change this mod to it. No. But if you guys have a mod that makes it to where grenade hits replenish melee energy, that this would synergize really well with that. Because that means you could just bounce back and forth between melee and grenades. Um, now when it comes to like bosses or public events where there's a lot of mobs that are spawning out, Definitely being able to have a long-lasting solar grenade is it, it's awesome like it's <laughs> It makes a huge huge difference when it comes to waves and waves of enemies um, now It's I'm kind of bummed out because I I thought that they were gonna bring back like strange coins at some point But I mean we do have What are they right here? We do have fire team medallions So that's probably why they don't do them um but, I, yeah, anyway, uh, honestly, if you haven't had all of these, I would say buy all of them just because, one, uh, it's a one-time buy. Like, you're not going to need multiples of these unless you triple character farm, which I hate people that do that. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, yeah, if you, if you could spare it, go for it. But, like, you guys can see for me, legendary marks or legendary shards, um, I don't have much of I've been leveling up my warlock and my titan and my warlock has a lot of blue gear and my titan has Half and half like my Titan's like level 18 or something like that So uh, again guys uh, coil does awesome aoe Foe tracer has I mean it's cool because it has utility for any any uh, subclass that you choose um, But you know like orpheus rig that's you know, it's only unique to stop a night stalker celestial nighthawk only unique to Gunslinger, and then, um, whatever the fuck that chess piece was for, uh, Arc Striders. So, I mean, it's cool that, that it is neutral. It definitely gives it a lot more viability in terms of, uh, play styles. Uh, but honestly, I think that with subclasses, just carry each of the unique items or whatever for the subclasses, and then whatever you're doing, just switch off at that point. Um, but yeah, so really quick, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this and show you guys what the volley looks like, and then um, we'll get back to, well, actually, no, that, that'll be it. I'll just end it after that. So again, guys, I love you guys who have stuck around. I, I, I'm i sorry that, you know, I'm kind of up and down with this stuff. Um, there, there's just a lot, of, a lot of adjusting that I'm trying to get back into and work schedule stuff. But I, I really, really appreciate you guys who are hanging around. Um, I, trust me, I'm not forgetting about the giveaway. Uh, just definitely try to get more and more people involved. Because the more people that are involved, the more I'll give away. So until next time, guys, this has been your, this has been your boy Adopt. I love you. Thanks for watching. Peace the f*** out.